Hello, and welcome to Crusader Kings 2. Um, and now we're going to do something entirely different. Um, Conclave has recently come out, and so I thought maybe we should start a new campaign. Um, if you remember, we did Holland before, and we actually converted Holland over to uh, the Kingdom of Frisia, which is pretty cool. Um, but now we've got this new conclave thing, which changes up the entirety of how, uh, how, like, your council works, um, and how, uh, you know, in a favor system, and, uh, it adds a couple of things from, uh, EU4, like, um, shattered armies and stuff like that, um, so I thought we would do something completely different, um, and I have never really done this before, but uh, we're going to give this a little whirl and see what happens. Um, so, uh, we're playing as um, as a Tocharian uh, Buddhist Shah, and we're going to play in uh, Koran, <coughs> uh, which is way, if you, if you can see, we're way to the east. Uh, we're practically... Um, <laughs> you know, uh, we're practically off the map here, uh, compared to where we were before over here in, uh, Holland. Anyway, so, um, so Tocharan culture has no special features. Uh, we are a feudal government, so we have all the feudal stuff, but we are a Buddhist, um, uh, religion. <laughs> So, uh, you know, we don't have the Pope or anything like that. Um, women may own temple holdings. Uh, there's no penalty for female rulers or heirs. Buddhist men can take up to three concubines. You could designate any valid offspring as the heir. Uh, there's, there is no religious head, and we can only we can declare limited holy wars against non-Indian religions. Okay. Um... And we learn technologies a little faster and stuff like that. So, so let's get started. So, here's what we're gonna do. We are right here, uh, Koran, right? Um, and our goal is to, if I can pull up the right one. <laughs> Let's see if it's in trade zones. Here we go. Okay, so you'll notice all of these uh, these yellow uh, ones are the Silk Road, right? Well, our eventual goal is to make an empire that controls one of these roads or more. Um, but our goal is to build an empire that controls one of these roads. Now we can pick the road as we go along. Um, you know, this one would probably be easiest, but, you know, we got to run through the here. Uh, we could run through here, but we're going to be running through... Uh, we're going to be running through the entire Arab Empire doing this. Uh, we could do this one, where we're going to be running through all of the... The, uh, the Eastern European stuff, and through, uh, potentially, uh, if they get up there, you know, parts of, uh, you know, the Byzantine Empire, depending. But that's our goal. Um, so, of course, the first thing we want to do is we want to try to take over this entire area in here, and then we'll push outwards. Um, we'll push outwards from here and then we'll see what we can do. Uh, one of our biggest concerns that we're going to have, of course, is that we've got the ports here. Um, we got all these nomadic tribes up here that could potentially try to push in and take us over. So, uh, with that in mind, let's... Um, and oh, by the way, while we're doing this, we're going to check out, of course, all of the new con uh, all of the new conclave stuff. So, so let's work on that. Um, first of all, we start as a petty shadam, uh, 
and we have, you know, two, four territories, basically. Um, this is our guy. We are uh, Shah Saharte of uh, Kroren. We are Petty Shah. Our heir is our half-sister. Um, which is interesting because I, I remember... Uh, I don't think you could you could normally have uh, female heirs before. So, but uh, well, let's take a look at our guy. Right, he's chaste, uh, which is not so great. It's great for learning, not very good for fertility, though. Um, he's honest. He uh, he's arbitrary, which is not really that good. Uh, he's wrathful. Um, which is good for Marshall. He's a Maya, uh, Mahayana Buddhist, um, so we follow the Mahay Mahayana branch of Buddhism. Uh, he is part of the uh, Vaishya uh, caste, so that's the caste of the traders and the artisans. Um, and he's a gray eminence, which means his diplomacy is fantastic. And his diplomacy is fantastic. Um, even with Roth, he still has a 20. Uh, he's got a 10 in Marshall, which is... Okay. Uh, this is actually horrible. This is really terrible. Um, and his learning is actually okay. So that's good. He's got three titles. He's got the Petty Shotum. And then he's got these two territories that are his. Um, okay, so uh, so with this in mind, here's his karma. Uh, this is like prestige. Uh, is respected by the clergy and monastics. Okay, so this is like piety. Um, this is prestige here. And then uh, wealth and army levies and all that good stuff. Just like before. Okay, so let's take a look at some differences. Uh, well, first of all, let's take a look at his vassals, who actually like him pretty well. That's good. Um, here's his court, uh, which is uh, which is pretty cool. This is the heir right here. That's his sister. Uh, we don't have any pacts, and you'll notice it says pacts now. Um, you can have different pacts. So you can have alliances or non-aggression treaties or, or anything like that. Um, when you marry in this game now, instead of automatically getting a, getting an alliance, you get a non-aggression pact. Um, and then you can make an alliance later. So, alright. So let's... Um, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we can already off the top usurp uh, the petty shotum of Kotan, which is right here. Um, uh, we're unmarried. We should probably get married. Uh, we have an unmarried heir. She should probably get married. We need to pick an ambition. We can press de jure claims, uh, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, that's for both of these, I think, yeah. And then we need to pick a character focus. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at our council really fast. This guy's absolutely horrible. Um, this guy is terrible, but not nearly as horrible as this guy. This guy's fantastic. Um, and these guys are just. They're okay. This guy's alright. Uh, this guy is a little bit above average. So that's positions. Okay, so here we go. Here's the council, right? Um, so so here are the, here are the positions, and then they have minor titles built into here. If you remember, they they used to have like a little tab, and it used to bring out a separate box. It doesn't do that anymore. Now you actually have um, this stuff all, all built out and everything. Um, so. Uh, 
Okay, and then you can click off whether you want to show commanders or not, or if you want to show the honorary titles or not. Uh, that's kind of useful. Okay, and then we go to an overview of the council. Okay, so here's all my counselors, right? These are these five guys. Okay, and each one of them falls into a different category, right? So these little fists means that um, these are powerful vassals, okay, and they expect to be on the council. So if I kick them off of the council, they're going to they're going to get pissed off. So, um, this shows what their title is, if they have one, right? Um, and then this shows what their personality is. Okay, so this is a, uh, this is a zealot, or a zealot. And this is a zealot, too. Um, we strive towards bringing religious subjects to the agenda. Um, uh, they're also more inclined to accept hostilization against heathens or heretics. Okay. And then we have this guy who's a pragmatist, path of least resistance to increase power for the realm and for themselves. This guy is a glory hound. Always try to push for the realm to make prestigious acts for glory, and so is this guy. So, up here, it sort of gives you the, um, it sort of gives you the overview. These are the loyalists. Um, I don't have any of those. These are the malcontents. I don't have any of those. And then you got the ones in the middle. The pragmatists, the glory hounds, and the zealots. So, and the council is content. Um, <clears throat> so, and then um, there's the liege council. I don't have a liege, though. So, uh, I could go and check the liege council. If I'm on the liege council, I can pick which one of these I am. Um... So, so anyway, so, so that's how that changed. Let's go into laws. This is totally different. Um, so the government form that we have in app is an absolute, uh, satrapy, uh, or satrapy, I guess. Um, and it's agnatic, cognatic, gavelkind, or gavelkind. So <clears throat> this means that if there aren't any boys, um, the girls... Uh, can can inherit, um, and then so this is the inheritance laws. So here's all your inheritance stuff again, <clears throat> just like before. Um, and then uh, I have realm laws. So here's centralization, status of women, the ability to revoke titles or administration. Okay, and then I have obligations. This is the nobles, the burghers, the church, and tribal. Um, and I can pick between whether I want to lean them towards more taxes and less levies, or if I want to lean them more towards more levies and less taxes. Um, in this case, it's sort of like a balancing act, as opposed to saying high taxes and high levies. You can't actually do that. You have to say, well... I want you to give more levies than taxes, or more taxes than levies. Um, and then finally, the council. I can empower the council to do stuff so that when uh, when law changes come about, um, law changes have to be voted on by the council. Otherwise, um, I just have full authority. And right now I have full authority. And that sounds fantastical. Alright, uh, technology is all the same. Uh, military is pretty much the same. Um, there are a couple of new things. Uh, I think pretty much everyone's sons can go off and uh, make their own mercenary band if they want to. Um, and then you can support them to do that. Uh, uh, intrigue is pretty much the same... Uh, yeah, it's pretty much all the same. Uh, factions, of course, you have the factional thing, and then religion. Um, so these must be like bishops. <coughs> uh, Purique of Pecan. Uh, okay, so, uh, that has to be one of the, one of the, like, the, what, what we would consider a bishopric. 
Uh, the Buddha's faith has a 40 <clears throat> um, moral authority. So, uh, it's, it's okay. All right, so let's get on with things. <clears throat> Enough talking, let's do stuff. Okay, so first things first, we probably should get married. So let's arrange a marriage. Uh, <clears throat> you'll notice right now that right here, this would just result in a non-aggression pact with uh, Nerubo, which is uh, Nerubo. Where is Nerubo? Oh, okay. That's in my realm. Um, <clears throat> and this would... This is the half-sister of uh, the ruler. So, uh, that would be nice, but really, I... I you know, I... Uh, I think what we want to do is we want to go with this one. Um... She has a stewardship of 14, which would help my stewardship of 5 be better. Um, I could go with somebody that has a high intrigue, but there's not really a, a high intrigue uh, person here. So I'd rather boost up the... Um, boost this up. I get half of this, so I get 7 added to it, which would be a nice boost. Um, in addition, I've got content, <clears throat> um, kind, gluttonous, chaste, which is ugh, that's such a problem. Um, different, different branch of Buddhism, um, but, uh, she belongs to the warrior and king's caste, and she's Midas touched. So, the fertility bonus here offsets the fertility penalty there. So, uh... So, let's do that. Uh, 200, negative 200 for marrying a courtier. Um... That's my marshal's daughter, I think. Yeah. Or his half-sister or something. I don't really want to take the negative. Uh, how old is this guy? He's 27, really. Well, let's see who else we've got here. Well, that's an unmarried heir. These are all courtiers, though. But, you know, here's the problem. There's not a lot to, to, to really pick from. So let's do this. And then let's look at our heir. And see what we can do. We definitely want a matrilineal marriage. <laughs> um... These, these two are Jains. Jainism. Oh, there's somebody who's quick. That would be good. Because then you get heirs, potential heirs that are... We don't want that guy. Uh, potential heirs with, with, with good stats. She is 21. So, and this is a matrilineal marriage, so that's fine. He's got okay stats, but he is, does have that quick, which is nice. So let's do that. And we'll send. Okay, so I can get 14 gold. Or I can gain 25 prestige. Well, I think I want to 
get rid of try to get rid of this negative 170. So let's let's take the prestige. When we get married, we'll do the same thing. Um, we can pick an ambition. Uh, in the ambition, we do not have uh, the get married anymore, <laughs> which which was uh, learn to reject hate. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. It's known as the wise. Build a war chest. <clears throat> okay, learn to reject hate. You know what? Let's... For right now... Let's do that. Let's learn to reject hate. Because <clears throat> he's so angry. Um, okay, so, and then we'll get a bonus to our karma, which will be nice. All right, so let's, um, now we have to pick a character focus. So what I'm thinking is, as crazy as this sounds, we need to get some airs. Um... We have her as an heir, but really, we really want to have an heir. Uh, do we? Yeah, I think we do. So we're going to do family. We're going to grab the fertility and the health bonus. And we'll do that. <clears throat> okay. Um, so that's good. Our domain size is two out of four. Oh, goodness, let's go into laws. Now, for laws, we could do a variety of different things. Um, right now, we're agnatic, cognatic, gavelkind. Um, or gavelkind. It would be nice to move to a primogeniture or an ultimogeniture. Um, we have to reign for at least ten years. And, um... To do this, we have to have late feudal or imperial administration. Jeez. For this one, we need the same thing. So. So, uh. We could increase the centralization, but we don't really need to right now. So I'll keep the centralization decentralized. Um, we need a tolerance level of at least three to do anything with the status of women. Here's our administration. We need legalism to be higher uh, in order to uh, change our administration. So, I think we want to allow the revocation of titles. Okay. Okay. That'll be the law that we change. Now we can't change another law for another 10 years. Okay. Uh, our military looks pretty good. There's a holy order. Look at that. We'll have to remember that. Okay. Uh, <coughs> oh, we have tons of people that we can try to kill off. Um, okay, I think we're in pretty good shape. We can usurp this title down here, which is very interesting, because then once we usurp the title, then we will have claims on both of these. But right now, I think we have claims on both of these guys. <laughs> this one and this one. So, I would really... I would really like to... take these over. If we can. Yeah, those are our de jure claims. And they're both our claims, too. So, 
With that in mind, let's take a look at this guy. He can field 900 and, uh, 789 troops, and I can raise a ton more, 12, almost 1,200. So that sounds like a plan. Let's uh, let's get married first. Oh, another thing in this game, we're going to increase the speed to a realistic speed now that we're not teaching. Okay, uh, so we accept. Okay. Now, um, we're paused. Let us... There's one more thing I want to do. I want to make sure this guy doesn't have any pacts. Okay, good. Um, let's, uh, let's declare war on this guy. We could try offering vassalization, but... Let's declare war instead. Now, uh, in declare war, we can also, uh, make tributary. Uh, which means that they sort of become our tributary. We They pay us 40% of their income in tribute. Um, but... Let's go with... Um, let's go with this claim right here. <clears throat> okay. And then, of course, we have to raise all our troops. Okay, so here's all our guys. We're going to combine these guys together. Right here. We're going to move these guys up, but they do not have any morale yet, because they're, they're just, um... They're, uh, they're levies from our... Um, from our, uh from our vassals, so... Now they're gonna raise forces. Let's pause. Let's merge these units. <laughs> and we'll come to the aid of these guys. These guys are going to merge, and they will also join the fight. Because I'm sure these guys are showing up too. Experience of matters of war has increased. Focus on war elephants. Focus on desert terrain, cavalry, or light foot troops. Uh, combat in the desert. I'm definitely going to say the desert. Because we're going to probably be spending most of our time in the desert. So here we go, we're going to move these guys. Now here's the thing, armies shatter now. So, they got this little flag, shattered retreat, and it basically means that, like, they don't just move away to one territory and then you could go after them again. Um, uh... Okay, where am... It says that I'm with the troops. But it doesn't say where. 
Okay, so we're going to take these guys, and we're going to go occupy this area. Because, let's face it, if we don't occupy the area, we're not going to get it. So, oh! These guys up here are in a revolt. Okay, and now we siege. This is just like before. Um, and this time, you know, I got it fully cranked at full speed, so... Alright, here comes the guy. He's running back. This is the army that was shattered. To extort money from the peasants. Abuse of office. Well, either way, oh, either way, I'm going to get a local revolt risk and a local tax modifier, which sucks. Of course, this is our marshal. Let's go to our marshal. Let's see. Here's our marshal. He sucks anyway. So guess what? He's forfeited his office. And we get to appoint somebody new. Ugh, these guys are even worse. Really, they're just... they're terrible. Righteous imprisonment. Guess what? We will take care of you in just a moment. Revoke a title. Um, but really, let's. We want to. Uh, we want to imprison him. But for right now, let's make him a new commander. Because we need commanders. Alright. Continuing onward. Oh, a trade post has been built. Fantastic. Ha, <laughs> he's in hiding. Okay. We gain the victory. Ah, a daughter was born. To Essamine and Maya. Who are these people? Ah, this is the heir. So now we have a new heir. It's Sa Sas Sasi? Saki? Sachi? Sassy. She's sassy. Well, we'll see if she's sassy. Now they have a new thing where um, you can educate your children based in certain... Uh, they give you more control over, over um, children's education. Uh, which is, which is actually pretty cool. You know what else I forgot to do? Gosh. I forgot to give these guys stuff to do. Like, this guy should be scheming. Or, yeah, he should be scheming in our capital. <laughs> and this guy should be researching cultural tech that. Uh, and then these guys I will assign to different things too, so. But let's get this war over with first. Okay, we're at 100% right now. 
So let's offer peace. We're going to enforce our demands. Yes. And send. Boom. Okay. So let's pause for a moment. Baron Wug is this guy. Uh, Baron Wug. Is my vassal. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Don't worry about that too much. Okay, we can... We can go like that. See, now there's three mercenaries. And now it's... See, you have these three bands. And these are the kids of... These are the kids of their rulers that have turned into mercenaries. Um, this guy who's in hiding right now, ha ha ha. He is in uh, here. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna send our marshal, who sucks, to here to give an extra 5% chance of arrest. Jeez. Uh, this guy is going to go... Hmm. He should really be fabricating claims on Arcee, I think. This guy should be collecting taxes. And, uh, I think that's about it. So, we have a 53% chance, but he's in hiding. So we'll have to, uh, <laughs> we could plot to kill him. Uh, we're paused, so let's take a look at this. Let's go here. Do we have anybody who can help us? No. We don't even have people who can help us and... We don't even have people who can help us um, and, you know, like, we bribe them and they help us, so... Let's quit that. Yeah, we'll take care of this guy, though. Okay, I do not believe that we can attack this guy yet. Although... Yeah, see. We cannot afford to lose 200. Cause um, because we are, uh, we're currently, um, uh, we currently have a truce with him. It expires ten years from now, so, so that's going to take a little while. Um... We need a lot of money to usurp this title, I think. So... Yeah, we need 195.6. So we'll work on that one for a little bit. Let's expand that a little bit. My liege, loyal servants of society, serves of recognition. This is the, the guy. <laughs> Widely known that you hold huge lands and many titles, and are perhaps as generous as you are wise. Perhaps you consider granting this humble servant. Yeah, this is the guy who. Uh, 
creed does not become you. I'd be happy to give you this, except you happen to have, uh... So is this guy out hiding? No. I got an idea. How about we just revoke his title? And... Oh, for 50 prestige, we're already pretty much in the... <laughs> Alright. Oh, what's our infamy? Infamy is this new thing that they did. Um, where if you get too much inf infamy, then rulers nearby can form a coalition. So if you happen to be grabbing land left and right um, from everybody, then um, then they can form a coalition against you. It's it's another thing that sort of got imported in from uh, EU four. Uh, with the Shattered Armies. Uh, some people don't like the Shattered Armies. I... What? Really? Oh, this is his... What, his brother? He's the regent? Huh. Look at that. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, known plots. I can end plot. I can't join the plot, though. That's too bad. Oh, well. Meanwhile... Oh, you know what I want to do? I would really like to promote a commander. But I need prestige, which is unfortunate. Um... Okay, so that's my niece. Yeah, yeah. So... <clears throat> Okay. We are going to keep going. For a little bit longer. Uh, let's check out our military right now. Yeah. Up. Oh. Okay. So there we go. An air on the way. Okay, so <clears throat> we got the air out of the way and done. Um, and then uh, these guys up here are still fighting. These guys are going to get huge. Okay, so, let's look at our council again. This is horrible. Uh, after giving my advice on delicate matter, Courtier asked me to accept a small gift of gold. I could get greedy, which increases my national tax modifier, or I could get charitable. Oh. Let's see if we can get charitable. Ah! Wish your mind seems to drift off when we discuss monetary issues. Believe me, it makes things interesting. <clears throat> would you like to join me tomorrow on a full day of the work? That would be interesting. 
this is Prana. This is my steward. Ah! Okay, he wants to help me become a better... A better uh, steward. Have more stewardship, so that's cool. Earning trust is earning gold. Maybe we could squeeze them for a little more. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> You're in construction site. Most of the builders are lagging behind the agreed schedule. Uh, we can get trusting, which I don't want. Because trusting, well, it gives you better diplomacy, but it, clear the site, you'll never work again. We lose arbitrary and we get just. Look at that. It wasn't for me. It feels like stealing. <laughs> I hated it. We should just kill the peasants and take their money. No, no, no. I definitely want that. That's excellent. Okay, so now if I look... Oh. Sumagati. <clears throat> is the new heir. Okay, so now if I look... Yeah, see, now my stewardship is all the way up to 10. Which is great. Because I got just instead of arbitrary. I also have an heir now. Uh, heir. Oh, has it not registered yet? There we go. Here's our heir. been spending more time uh, with the wife. Uh, oh, that's fantastic. So, they love each other, which is really great, because even though they they didn't marry for love, they started to love each other, which is really kind of cool. It makes things a lot easier. Um, they last a lot longer, because uh, I think they get a health... Do they get a health benefit from I can't remember. Of course, if that's the case, then why do I not like her? Which is pretty funny. So. Well, she's got a ton of prestige. <clears throat> well, because she married me, right? Exactly. So, so, um... So, anyway, so... Uh, so that's all good. We can have up to six in our domain size. We really want to take this guy out, but he's still in hiding. He is still in hiding. So, this guy can't really rule from hiding, though. Oh, and he's stark raving mad. <laughs> Ah, uh, there you go. And this guy's trying to kill him. Oh, so... <clears throat> they have love for... I could just revoke the title. Oh, fantastic. More gold. I believe we have enough gold to do this right now. <clears throat> so let's do this. Let's usurp. From Count Sada the Careless. Okay, so this is the satrapy of Kotan. We could make this the primary title if we want to. Now, there's another issue, too, and that is, um, we're in Gavelkind, so if we have another heir, if we have another daughter, it, the daughters will split the realm. If we have a son, then we won't split the realm, because it'll all go to him, but if we have, like, two sons, then it'll split the realm, so... 
we have to be careful about uh, about uh, what we're really doing here. This guy can field 125 levies. Wow, that's a lot. That's probably... That's almost more than I can field. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, how about this RC guy? Yeah, not so much. Okay. So... Let's continue building up the gold. And I think once we get the gold to a certain amount, we can start... Um, we can start... Uh, we can start building on... Um, building into the territory. Like right now... Like we could build castle walls here if we wanted to. Which might not, which might actually be a good idea, but let's take a look at some of the other ones. Castle walls, castle walls. One, two, and three. Let's do that. Let's build castle walls. It'll increase our tax income. Whoops. <coughs> uh, okay, Marzavan Isipik is no longer the Chancellor. Because he was murdered. Okay, and uh, Shai Ka Kuyu, this person right here, um, has taken over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, and she's a kinslayer. She killed her. She's not fond of me, either. Wants a seat on the council. A Narubo. Well, this is kind of interesting, because this is one of these territories down here, isn't it? Where is Narubo? Let's go back to this guy. Oh, how interesting. Okay. She wants the satrapy of Kotan, which she's not going to get. But Oh, wow. So we have even more gold. Let's pause for a moment. We could revoke the title, but that'll take 50 prestige and it'll make everybody angry at us. <laughs> We could look at concubines. Um, but I'm not sure that we want any more kids, see? So we don't have to worry about that. We could plot to kill her. So, I have it paused. Let's take a look in Intrigue and see how we can do this. Oh, we have some people who will definitely... Who will definitely do this? Including some people who. Uh, will consider it if we pay them a little bit. Because if she dies. If she dies, then we, uh... Oh, goodness, that's a lot. Yeah, don't you worry about that. We have to pause for a moment, because we have to appoint a new Grand Vizier. Uh, and that's going to be this guy, right here. He wants to become a counselor. Okay. 
Congratulations. You get to try to uh, fabricate claims. Okay, let's go back here and let's watch our plot happen here. We have 181% plot power, which is crazy. It's a crazy amount of plot power. Oh, we can invest in a technological advance. Oh. Oh, this is half-sister. Okay. Family first. So, okay, so we have... We can uh, we can increase one of these. So let's increase military organization. Increase our morale. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, we probably need a commander too. There we go. That guy's twelve. Okay. <clears throat> Let's continue onwards. Let's check our intrigue. Still have 181. Ah, die by poisoned wine and an upcoming and an upcoming banquet. See. She didn't drink the wine, but was unable to uncover the conspiracy. We'll just have to try again. Let's see who we got. Nobody else is willing. So, alright, so uh, let's go back here and let's build some castle walls, shall we? This is what we were doing before we had to pause. Uh, for the, the, uh, all the crazy, uh, crazy stuff that's been happening. Hire somebody to saw through the supports of the railing on the balcony she's been known to frequent. Okay. Okay, we have a non-aggression pact with the Grand Vizier. Okay, hold on. Injury is no longer you pet hi ya ya. All right. Okay. And Sukulain is no longer the spy master. And he's no longer the steward. And yes, Stari is no longer the marshal. I've inherited the, uh, I've inherited this because I felt a crowd like a piece of rotted fruit. Tragic incident as far as anyone can be concerned, is concerned. Gravity could be a cruel mistress. Okay, so there we go. We have just, we have just grabbed this territory because we killed off the last heir and we were the heir to it. So, perfect. <laughs> And really, I was just killing a Kinslayer. So what about this guy? Is this guy still in hiding? This guy's still in hiding. And of course, uh, his faction just took a loss. So, uh, I'm gonna pause just to see if I can plot to kill this guy again. Is there anybody? Oh, these two might consider it. If they're given enough money. Hold on just a moment. This might not even be an issue. Okay, so I have five vassals. 
these guys want to be on the council. But what good is this guy? He could be the marshal, but... Really, he's just, you know... Although our marshal is five, so can I appoint this guy? Twelve? Twelve is way better. This guy could be the guy who does learning, too. Because this one is 11, although this is also a powerful vassal, so I, I kind of want to have him do that. This guy is a genius, though. Okay. We are going to do... Uh, we're going to put this guy in there. And he can train troops. Right there. Uh, this guy has got an 11. This guy's got an 11, too. I mean, let's face it. 11, 11. I'd rather have this guy on the council, because he's angry at not being on the council, so... And he'll scheme... In here. The plot power increase to put him down here is, is just too much. Or it's too little, I should say. Is this guy not going to make any kids or something? Because I definitely don't want that going back to him. Kotan. And then Yarkland. These are the next two that are going to go. Uh, 173. I think we can go like this. One. Narubo will build walls there. Trade post of Narubo. Well, we're definitely going to have to do that. Okay. And I think at this point, it is probably time to call it a first video. So, um, this will be the end of episode one um, of the Kororan uh, campaign here to try to, uh, to try to secure a Silk Road... Um, to try to secure a Silk Road uh, route that we can control. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you've had fun, and I will see you next time.